Okay, today's VESTA tutorial comes from Roshan in the University of Namur in Belgium who asks, if you have two lattices like this, here you have graphite with MOS2 on top of it, is it possible in VESTA to plot these things so that there's some arbitrary angle rotated off of one another? So yes, that's possible to do. Um, just to make it clear, I think what he's asking us to do is he's asking if you had these two different lattices, here's the graphite and the MOS2 lattices, here I'm in Photoshop, you know, you can transform something in Photoshop by taking this and you can rotate it. You can see I'm going a negative 20 degrees, negative 58. I can rotate this by hand, but what he's asking is, can you make Vesta do this? Can you have it rotate at some degree, right? That's the question. Um, so as you see right now, they're lined up. They have a common, their A vector, right? The A uh, crystal uh, unit cell direction is lined up. So how do you make those rotate? Well. If we go to our edit and we go to edit data phase where we can see where we've produced two different crystal structures on the same map, there is the ability to orient things, right? You can orient them relative to one another, but it doesn't give you the option in degrees, right? So he asked if you wanted to rotate it 20 degrees or 35 degrees or 4.3 or whatever, how do you do that, right? So what you have to do is you're going to have to rotate it um, in terms of two vectors, right? So here's what we're going to do. Imagine you've got one vector representing the first lattice, right? So since that's the A direction, let's call that the 1, 0, 0, okay? And that will be our initial, let's call it U, V, W, okay? Now we want to rotate this thing, so we want a new vector, let's say down there, where it's been rotated by some angle alpha, okay? So that's our angle alpha. So this new vector, what must it be is the real question. Because if we know that new vector direction for some arbitrary angle alpha, we can, we're gonna be able to punch that in. So here's how it works. This new vector, we're gonna call it x, y, um, I'm gonna call it a w because I'm just gonna rotate in plane for now for this example. So it's the same w as before, but we need a new x and a new y, okay? The transformation matrix that we need to use to make this happen is as follows. So it's going to be cosine of alpha, sine of alpha. Here it's going to be the negative sine of alpha. And here it's going to be and cosine alpha. Okay, that's the transformation matrix. So if we take our initial vector, we multiply it by this transformation matrix, that will give us the new vector. So our new vector, the x value, x is going to be equal to um, the initial value u, which is times cosine of alpha, that's going to be plus v times the sine of alpha. For y, it's going to be negative u times the cosine of alpha plus v times the cosine of alpha. Okay? So if in this example we wanted alpha to be, say, 20 degrees, right? If this equals 20 degrees, and I plug those in for cosine and alpha, I find that x and y become 0 0.939 and 0 0.342. So that is what we're going to use to transform this to that exact degree. And you could have punched in any other degree you wanted, right? So this is a, uh, this is the, the perfect tool for what you want to do if you want some arbitrary rotation. So let's go back and do this. Uh, 0.939 and 0.342. We're going to come here. We're going to go to our edit. We're going to edit data and go to phases, right? Now we're going to rotate MOS2 relative to graphite. So we're going to leave graphite where it is. We're going to rotate the MOS2, 20 degrees, okay? So the, when you do this, you come down here to orientation. What's important is that you I find that you should not pick it relative to this layer. Do it on global coordinates because these are hexagonal systems and so these unit cells are screwy. So I would just do it on global coordinates, right? So from the global coordinate, we want to rotate this phase. So we click it and then over here, our, what we're going to rotate it by is 0 0.939 and 0 0.342. When we apply that, sure enough, let me clean this up so we don't see quite as many layers so it's easier to see what's going on. So I'm going to delete out the top and bottom layers of this. Uh, let me 
scooch this up just a hair. Okay. Okay, when I look down on this again, sure enough you see that the graphite is unchanged, it's nice and flat, but now at 20 degrees you've got this MOS2 in there. Okay? And sure enough, this, this will match what we could achieve with Photoshop, right? If I take the same thing and I tell it to do a rotation uh, of 20 degrees, we get the exact same shape, right? If this thing, that yellow is in the middle of the dumbbell here, if we place that there, we get the exact same shape. So it works. Um, this way is not as good because you had to convert it to a, a raster image. And then when I deleted out the white, it messed with our atoms, transparencies. It's just not as good. It, you should learn how to do it in, crystallog in Vesta crystallography. So you can see that's how it's done. Um, okay, so that's the tutorial for today. If you've got other questions, let me know in the comments.